I've done this before with Andronix, but did I want to use Termix? Maybe I'll do another one with Andronix. One note about Termix though, it's in the Google Play Store, but if you go into the about, it says not to use it anymore, that you want to go to this link here to see other options. And here it will tell you to use F-Droid instead. So that's what we're going to do. If you do look in Google Play and go down to the bottom here, you'll see this is version 0.101. But if I go over to F-Droid and search for Termex, you'll see that this is version 0.118, which is the latest on the GitHub page. If you don't know how to install F-Droid, I'll include a link for that. It's pretty straightforward. You just download the APK and enable the permission. None of this requires root or anything like that, or even developer options to be on, but I've always got developer options on personally. Ask for notifications, we're going to say OK. First thing I'm going to do is package upgrade, which will upgrade all the packages, and I'm going to do dash Y, but it's still going to prompt me for some file overwrites. But I'm going to use an external keyboard while it does this because that's a whole lot easier for me. I believe there's six file overwrites that's going to prompt me for. One. There we go. Now I'm going to do package install. Open SSH. This is going to install an SSH server so that I can connect remotely. But I do need to set a password. There we go. And then find out my username, which is always going to be some weird thing there we go u0 underscore a753 so now i can connect remotely if i scroll all the way back up to the top here you'll see it says x11 repo is right there so i want to install that pkg is x11 this is the package repository that includes dosbox which is what we need to run turbo pascal so now i can do package install DOSBox. If you run this and it doesn't find it, that's because you haven't installed the X11 repository. There you go. Now DOSBox is installed. And then do log cat dash dash sshd we'll see it's listening on port 8022 and it's control c which you can use the control right here on the screen and then the on-screen keyboard the easiest way to get your wi-fi information is to go into your settings go down to about phone and go to status information and you'll see it right there yeah both ipv6 and ipv4 ip address this is mostly to show that it's possible but you can uh, ssh into it now so notice i'm specifying the port number 8022 and that username that i got from there first time you do it i didn't set up the key so i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna keep the fingerprint and then i use a password i specified And now I'm in Termex remotely from my Windows computer. So I'm going to go back to doing it on the Android device, but just wanted to show that you can uh, SSH into it if you set this up this way. All right, I think we're on the home stretch now. First thing I want to do is I want to tell Termex to acquire a wake lock. This way it will not go to sleep in the background and it's going to say, hey, are you sure you want to stop optimizing the battery? Yep, that's what I want. So I've got DOSBox installed, but in order to view DOSBox, even though it's DOS, which is a text interface, it's still being done graphically. 
I need to install the Tiger VNC. Yes. So now I'm going to set VNC server up. VNC server. Get asked for a password. Make sure you make it a good one. And I don't want to view only password. So now VNC is running on localhost colon one, so display one. So I want to say export display equals colon one. And that will tell DOSBox to export to display VNC one. So right now, if I do an ls, there's nothing in my home directory. But if I say termx setup storage, this should prompt me to, yep, okay. It's gonna prompt me for permissions now to access my storage. And so if I look here, I go into storage. So if I go storage, these are all the common folders you would access on your Android if you're using a file explorer. So I'm going to go into shared, and I've already created a folder here called DOSBox. And in here is Turbo Pascal 7. All right, so now I'm ready to start DOSBox. Let's go DOSBox. All right, so DOSBox is running. Now I need to switch over to VNC. I've got real VNC viewer installed on my Android device, although I could connect from any other device as well to do this too. And for completion purposes, I would show installing it. So make sure you get the right one. It's real VNC limited, real VNC viewer. There's other ones out there, but this is the one that I found worked well. For open source projects, there's a lot of times people will make clones of them that aren't very good. So it's tricky sometimes to know the right one you want. Okay. I get started. I want to add, okay. And we're going to go 127.0.0.1. And I want 5901. And we'll call this. All right. And so now connect. No, I don't want to warm me out of time. Password, whatever password you typed in earlier. And I'll say remember password. Okay, it's got a little tutorial here. I'm going to skip that for now. Skip tutorial. Okay, so I'm in DOSBox now. So in order to access the folder that has my uh, Toro Pascal in it, I have to say mount. And I'll say C, and that will be storage, if I remember this correctly, storage shared DOS box. So now if I go to C drive, aha, it is in here. Oh, so there's a dot no media file in there that I added as well, because that will keep any graphics gallery programs from going through and finding images and saying, ooh, look, it's an image. Because there's a couple things that mistakes as images. TP7, I could add this to the past, but I'm gonna just go in here manually and say turbo. And there we go, I am in <laughs> running Turbo Pascal 7 on my Android device. So let's say open, actually, I'll go file, change directory, and we'll go examples. Oh gosh, let's try breakout. Why not? So you change directory so that when you open it, there's multiple files in here that make this up. And so we'll see breakout, it uses screen count bricks, etc. If you don't do this, then it won't find the rest of those files. In Turo Pascal, there is no dprog or dpr file like there's in Delphi that specifies 
locations of other folders and files and stuff like that. So that was an important thing to do. So now I'll run and I can change the type matic rate. I'm gonna say yes, uh, press up arrow. We'll go with that. Um, I'll try that. Oh, ah, man. There you go. No. Nope. Turn speed down. Okay, let's try again. That little dot there is the mouse cursor from VNC. Okay, so not really the best experience for breakout on this, but. There you go, we're running Pro Pascal and making and running programs on an Android device.